According to our tradition, you and your son have been charged for the murder of your husband, and you must face the consequences. Igwe, I beg you. My son and I, we are innocent. We don't have a hand in the death of my husband, please. Will you just keep quiet? Shut that your dirty mouth! <laughs> You see, you women, you are not only worthless, but you are evil. What are you trying to tell us? That a very healthy man goes to sleep head and heart only to wake up dead the next morning? Is that what you're saying? Woman, you and your son conspired to have your husband murdered. Oh, you think we didn't hear that your son confronted his father? Yesterday, before you killed him? Yes, there was a little misunderstanding. Neither I or my son killed my husband. Igwe, you know my husband has been sick for some time now and he refused to take his medication. Oh, keep quiet. Ordinary cough cannot kill a man. You are just looking for excuses to cover your evil deeds. No. You told your son to kill your husband because he wanted your daughter to marry Maziaku, which the both of you opposed. No! You will suffer the consequences of this. Igbe, we don't need to waste time on this. We don't need to waste more time on this. Yes, my king. So that daughters who are planning to do the same, we have everything. Ah. Igwe, please. Igwe, forgive us. Mm. So, um, um, ma, okay. listen. That woman might be innocent. She may be saying the truth. Ichi, how do you mean she might be innocent? If she's innocent, then who killed her husband? Mm. No, is it not after that he said that women they had together? The man died the next day. So what are you saying? Uh, but you know that Mazike has been sick and has refused to take treatment from the herbalists, even after I warned him. Ichie, the whooping cough he had is not what will kill him just like that. It's not possible. That woman has to be taught a lesson. Eh? Uh, she know what killed her husband. She even went to the extent of convincing the son to hurt the father. To the extent that the boy puts the father down. Uh -uh. Well, she must face the consequences of her action. I'm of the opinion that we look into this matter critically. There's nothing critical. We are looking critical. You must be. You must face her because of her. What are you saying? Mm. 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 Ma. Ma. Where have you been, Ejike? I've been looking for you everywhere. I, I, went to, I went to seek for the herbalist to begin environment on father before he is buried. Hey, that will no longer be necessary. See, you have to leave this village now. You have to flee. Why? Do not ask me such questions. The Igwe has accused you of killing father. So he has sent off his guards to come and pick you. They are apparently taking you back to the palace. Well, you know I did not do that. You know I did not, you know, you know not kill our father. Why, 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 why would I do something like that? Hey, I know, but do not ask those stupid questions. Hey, Mama asked me to come here and tell you to flee immediately. See, let me tell you, the ego is very furious. He feels you killed one of his cabinets, but I have to leave. Where's Mama? Huh? Where's Mama? Mama is still at the palace. How can I, how can I leave when, when Papa's corpse is still lying down? Oh. Eh? How? Oh, why? I know, but that's it. No, 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 I'm, I'm not going anywhere. Brother, please, speak for me. Brother, speak for me. Speak for me. Brother, please, 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 spe
Keep quiet this minute. You suddenly have changed your name to innocent. Look at you. Eh? Now, scrap it. Scrap it. After conniving with your son to kill your husband, you ask him to escape from the kingdom. If he's innocent, why is he running? Why is he running? Worthless woman. Eh? You are not only worthless, but you are evil. Now, let me tell you. For the fact that you have killed your husband, you are going to sleep in that house with his corpse overnight. Now that you are claiming that you are innocent, let's see whether you come out alive by tomorrow morning. Yes. <laughs> but if you are not, if you are not, the restless spirit of your husband will smite you dead by midnight. My hands are clean, I yeah. <laughs> Shut up! Hands are clean. <laughs> Scrap everything! Hey! Evil! Evil! Evil man! Ichako! Ichako! You see you! You this evil man! If you like, keep her in that hut for 34 market weeks. She will survive it. But you, just enter. Just, just smell that hut. My God, in 30 seconds, you are gone. Evil, evil man. Evil. Look at this madman. Who called you here? Huh? Anyway, <laughs> there's no need wasting my time on a useless person like you. If I, you're not a human being. If you were a human being, I would have asked the guards to behead you. Idiot! I did not give my husband a bill of sale. You are not a human being. If you are to be a human being, I will tell the girls to behead you. What else do you know? Killing! The way you are, You that is a human being, of what use are you on, in this village? Of what use are you in this village? If not, we have a threatening evil. So I say evil. Oi, Hema. You said I'm not a human being, okay? I'm not a human being, meaning I'm a ghost, you know? I'm a ghost. Very soon, Jack catch them by more. That ghost, you will see it one day, by more, they will just grab you. Ghost will grab you. That will be here, game. Oh, bread, grow bread, oh, yeah, is she? Evil. Evil man. Ichi, please, you cannot do this to my mother. She's innocent. You are talking. Innocent. Eh? Were you part of the plan to, to kill your father? Were you part of that plan? Just shut up if I hear anything from you again. We are going to treat you like a criminal, like a murderer. Ah. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. 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 <laughs> I wish I can see a giant stone. What are you up to? Why is she? If you want. Father is so heartless. He is. What are your voice or what do you do have ears? I don't care if they have ears, nose or mouth. I don't care. Please. But how could he? How could he belittle himself to the extent of keeping guard while those elders scrape the hair of Nayakudo? But is that not sacrilege? But what do we do? The same question in everyone's mind. A time shall come when I will walk up to him and spit it to his face. He's being cruel to his people. Princess. Mother, I don't care whatever will come out. I don't care. The women of this kingdom needs to be free. They have to be free. Princess, stop it. Can see she's alive. 
Now that she is alive, can we destroy Ichiaku? Let's destroy him. Let's take Ichiaku into this hut and see if he will survive it. Uh, guards, are you sure this evil woman didn't escape your watch at night? No, Ichi. We kept watch all night. All we could hear was an endless cry all through the night. But later stopped. I see. Look, woman. Don't think you have proven yourself innocent yet. You cannot be innocent until we confirm from our chief priest here. This water is gotten from washing your late husband's corpse. Take and drink out of it. If you are innocent, the gods will let you live. But if you are guilty, the gods will strike you dead immediately. Now, take. Take! Drink it, drink it and return the cup. Sweet pan wine. That is a sweet pan wine. Drink it, nothing will happen to you. Drink it. Think the gods are asleep. Drink it. It's okay, it's okay. Give him back the calabash, it's okay. Give him back. Uba, it's it. Uba, blows here. My fellow compatriots, things are beginning to get out of hand in this community. Our fellow woman was forced to sleep in the same room with the man's cops, her husband's cops. They forcefully shaved her hair with wounds on the skull. Hmm. They also forced her to drink water which was used to cleanse the husband's cups after days. She was forced to take an oath. All this madness have to stop. The battle line has been drawn. This is too much to bear. We have to do something now. And when there is only a choice between cowardice and battle, I will advise battle. Let the heaven fall. Enough is enough. You know my stand on this issue way before now. Even before I married my so-called husband. It is time. It is time for the women of this community to stand up and say no to injustice and wickedness. It is time to say no to our voices not being heard. We, the women of this community, have gone through a whole lot in the hands of men. It is time we go to meet the king and the entire men of this community and say to them that we are not animals but human beings. We deserve equity and justice. We must do this for our unborn children. I have come to realize that what counts is not necessarily the size of the dog in the fight, but the size of the fight in the dog.
we are women. But the men in this kingdom has turned us to slaves. They tell us when to eat, when to drink, when and how to dress, when to go to the farm, when to sleep, when to talk. It is time we say no to this injustice. We will not keep living under this man's judgment. We will strive to gain our rights and our freedom. And together, we all shall end this madness. Tell me, what do they have that we do not have? What can they do that we cannot do? So many women have fought this same fight and they came back victorious. Let us talk about Queen Amina of Zaria. What about the Queen of Shakazu? Queen Matisisi? Lots of them. These people are compatriots and women warriors just like us. If they can fight this cause and come back alive, why can't we do the same thing? And if it means we have to die in this cause, so shall it be. Who is in with me? the guys doing? I can see Okoro and Godi best wife among them. That too. I am not sure they are still living in their husband's houses. Okoro has uh, married another wife. I see anger all over your faces, maidens. What warrants you to storm my palace? In this very disrespectful manner. Igwe, enough is enough. We, the women of this kingdom, are tired of the maltreatment coming from our husbands. You have to put an end to it. Yes. Um, enough is enough. Yes. We are tired. Yes, Your Highness. The evil laws against women in this land must be abolished. We have suffered enough. What effrontery. So you walked yourself into this palace, disrupting the garden of the witches with the king, just to utter your nonsense. Do you know the consequences of your actions? Do you want to be punished? What punishment will be more than the ones we've been receiving from the hands of the men in this community? What abomination for you women to walk into my palace to utter rubbish from your mouth. Do you know the consequences of what you have done? We don't care, Igwe. Enough is enough. We are here to say stop all this nonsense against women in this community. We will not take it anymore. It is enough, Igwe. It is enough. What? Guards! Take these things, lock them up in the prison. I will have their heads on a platter in three days' time. You will pay with your lives for this nonsense. We don't care. If we die, let's die. We do not care. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. We do not care. I said, no, not my life. I cannot do it. Oi. But in the mouth, I won't. Go lie if you're not going to confront Father and tell him to release those maidens he has imprisoned. Then I will confront him myself. Princess, you know that is not a good idea. Then do something. This is virtually an act of wickedness. I feel for those maidens. They are women like me. And I don't see anything wrong in what they did. I feel and understand your grievances. Remember we are together in this. So, do something. Stay here. I'll handle it.
Father, you have to release those maidens. They have done nothing to deserve death as punishment. They are only protesting against the way they are being treated. I thought you were a human being. How dare you raise your voice on your father? Are you mad? Father, nothing can be hidden from the son. What you and these men are doing is evil and you know it. Hitting me will not check the fat father. Those maidens have done nothing wrong to deserve death as punishment. Father, killing them will not do you any good. I am so ashamed of you, Gunnar. You don't act like a son of this land. Sometimes I think about how I will leave this kingdom for you to rule. I regret having you as a son. You are not worth it. Your stupidity will not allow you to rule like the son of a lion that you are. You will allow women to trample on you. Father, you know I am speaking the truth. And I do not care what you think about me. Those laws must be abolished. Release this madness now. Get out of my presence. Get out! Aduko, I am so sorry. I have tried talking to my father about all this and make sure he gets really zoopy, but he doesn't listen. He wouldn't listen to anything I have to say. I want to ask you, my prince. Is it a crime for someone to ask for freedom? What's wrong have we done? We only ask for our rights. Why is your father so cruel? Adugo, it's not a crime. It's not a crime. I am sorry for all this. I promise you during my reign, all this would not happen. <laughs> Women will have their rights as men. Your father has passed his last judgment. What are we going to do? Are we going to continue to languish like this? You heard him. We have two days to our execution. What are we supposed to do? Your Highness. Please, we beg of you, if you can, kindly help us. But, if we must die for what we believe in, so be it. Nobody is going to die. I shall do everything in my power to make sure that justice is brought. Remember, we are in this together. Nothing is going to happen to you, not even any of you. If you say so. Father wouldn't listen to whatever I have to say. Instead, he said that he's afraid I, I am not going to be eligible to handle the mantle of leadership when he's gone. We won't let him succeed. We won't let him succeed with the drastic decision he has taken on those maidens. He wants to have them executed and we won't let it happen. We will not. Exactly. We wouldn't let it happen. But then what do we do? Do you have any plans? Did a protest against father and other men. And if you don't do it, I would take the decision myself, not minding I am a woman. I want to fight for what is right. This is becoming too much. Princess, a protest. Yes, a protest. It is time we, the youth of this kingdom, come together and put an end to this injustice that has been brought upon our women. They are humans. They are our mothers, they are our wives. They are our sisters and our daughters. They are suffering. We cannot allow them to keep being treated this way. My father and his council of elders are not doing the right thing. We, the youths of this kingdom, are the future of the kingdom. And we need to come together and put an end to this injustice. Uh, my prince, 
your father will have our head if we do this. Because it's against our tradition. Mom. You know, women are not in any way considered equal with the men. Women have no say in matters of the land. They are only good in giving birth. Yes, they are just good in giving birth and repackaging the lineage. Come on, shut up. Yes. How can you say? Shut up, yeah. Oh, oh. You keep oh, oh. What are you saying? Keep quiet. Oh, oh. Don't say that again. That is a big lie. How could you believe in such fallacy? It's the same gods that created them. The gods do not maltreat who they create. Have you asked yourself how this tradition came into existence? These women need freedom. They have the right to express themselves. It is called human right. We cannot let them suffer. Just yesterday, my father had the maidens that came to protest for freedom arrested. And he has pronounced death as their punishment. How do we allow such to continue? We must come together and put an end to this injustice and make sure that such tradition is abolished. Please, my fellow youth, if you know you are in this with me, raise your hand. As for me, I'm not a mom. Go now. Raise your hand. Go. Go. Don't go. Worry. go. 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 Raise your hand. Don't worry. 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 Don't this idiot just need like fathers like sons. They are all fools. This meeting was supposed to be between just you and I because I see you. I see leadership. I see original leadership. If not for one thing, I would just say, your father hmm? is not your father. Because you are not behaving like the Igwe. Yes, you are not behaving. Take a good look at this community now. Are you seeing progress? No, let me ask you. Are you seeing progress? Nobody has a car. Nobody has a even bicycle, okay. uh, even a machine. Okay. Nothing. Everywhere. Nkuri, nkuri. Go to Mozo, my village. I go there and see. People are building mansion. People are building mansion, building, buying cars, everything. But I don't know what I'm doing in this my maternal home. Unwo, bo. Except to you. Sorry, my prince. Huh? Don't worry. You see you. You will live long. Hmm? You will live long. But don't worry, you see this battle, we'll fight it and we'll win it. Yes, I promise you. Father, Father, what is the meaning of this? How could you order your guards to arrest me? That is a shame, Father. I am the prince of this kingdom, remember? I am afraid, not anymore. What do you mean, Father? I cannot bring myself to believe that you can mobilize the youths of this kingdom against your own father. What sabotage? If those youth had not understood what it means to rebel against their own king, they would have joined your stupid cause. Father, no one is rebelling against you. They're only protesting against injustice. Just yesterday, you ordered that the maidens that protested should be arrested and killed. They're only protesting for freedom, Father. I am ashamed to call you my son, Ogunna. And until you, your feet to stand with me as your father and show me that you are able to rule over this kingdom. You are relieved as the prince of our Mankwa kingdom. No, no, father. God! What a father. Take off his crown. Take off his beats. Take off everything. And take off his staff of office. You will return. 
remain an ordinary commoner until you come to your rightful senses. <sighs> Father, I do not care. I do not care. The struggle continues. How will you get out of my presence uh, before I skin you alive, son of a woman? Get out! I'm telling you, that is how it happened. <laughs> if, if not for that, eh? Uh, wait, wait, mother, mother. You mean to tell me that they came the throne his own son, Prince Ugonna, from being the hell apparent to the throne? Hey, Buka, I'm telling you what I heard from a reliable source. It's not a joke. I think we are lucky. Thank God we will never join in that protest. Who knows what would have happened to us by now? Brother, I'm celebrating if you are not. Because if you and I are part of that protest, our body would have been in evil forest now. Rotten. Ha! Ah, that you and I are alive is because you are not part of them. Um, uh, uh, Madam, I think Prince Ugona needs to start acting like a man. Because his concern over the tradition is getting out of hand. He needs to wise up. Ibuka, you're right. He needs to wise up. Ah, I'm telling you the truth. He needs Man. to wise up. Somehow. He needs to wise up. My fellow women, this injustice is getting out of hand. Yes, Our daughters are locked up there in the prison, awaiting death sentence mm -hmm. from the king. We can't just sit and allow them die. It's not fair. But Ned, what can we do? Eh? Anyone that raises up his voice now, in fact, will end up in prison. But then we don't just sit, eh? fold our hands in our house and allow them. <laughs> we, we, we stop like that. It's not fair. The king will kill us mm -hmm. if we dare confront him. If not, I would have suggested we go to the palace. Mm -hmm. Then we'll seek help elsewhere. From seek who? help from who? Who will help mm -hmm. us? Do you know that anyone that tried to ally with us now will definitely get punishment from the king? Exactly. That is the truth. I don't know. It's so frustrating. Hey. But I know it's not right to just keep mute and watch them no, being destroyed. Like that. What can we do? We are, then we are, as we are good helpless. As we are helpless. We are helpless. What are you doing here? Are you here to mock us? What do you have to say? Before we are being killed by the father or later? Stop it. I understand how you feel. And I will feel the same if I'm in your shoes. But then, you have to listen to me. Tell me why we should listen to you. Your father is going to have us executed in, I mean, in a few hours. What's the difference though? No. You won't be executed if you listen. I don't understand. How do you mean? In the next two hours, I will make sure that the guard that will be in charge of this prison will be a womanizer. How is that possible? Well, for safety, I will add a little substance to his drink that he won't be able to resist any woman. Are you sure of what you just told me? Yes, Your Grace. I saw them secretly discussing it. Mm. I see. Oh, they want to rebel against their king. Henceforth, all the guards should keep an eye on all the women of this kingdom. When you see a gathering of two or more of them, get them arrested, bring them here for judgment. Your will, my hand, your grace. The execution is tomorrow. Our 
our death is near. What do we do? Oh, gods of our land, please help us. Listen, guys, this is how we're going to do this. We have to go according to the princess plan. And we do it exactly the way I say it. Do I make myself clear? This is the perfect. It cannot. Well, it doesn't mean anything because we will all die after. Don't say that. Let's just try first. Don't conclude yet. Could you allow those hopeless maids uh, to kill my guards and flee under your watch? Your Grace, I went to get firewood and when I returned, I found Dumbazu dead in a pool of blood and the prison breached. Now go and find those useless maidens. Uh, bring them back here. I will skin them alive myself and use their skins to make my foot mat. Go now. Hi. See, we have been running through the night. We need to rest. Huh? We need to rest. Rest, you say? Uh -huh. No. We, we can't rest. That's not possible. The eagle will send these guards after us. Uh -uh. And you know that for sure. Let's continue. No, no, no. But we, we have run past the boundaries of our village now. Huh? We have passed it. Only do. Eh? Do you realize what we did? Huh? We killed a guard just to escape. Uh. The king will send his guards after us. Eh? <clears throat> Adugo, <clears throat> you brought us this far. What do we do? <sighs> I may just keep quiet. Let me just think. <sighs> I think we should cross the water. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's cross the river. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
of Amankwa. Who are you? Achala, the servant of the great goddess of the White Mountains, the goddess of truth. Please, 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 ma. The great goddess does not harm her own. Instead, she saves. What do you want from us? What do you want? Adugo, your escape from your kingdom was designed and orchestrated by the gods to bring you to the fulfillment of your destiny. How did you know my name? And what do you know about my destiny? What are you talking about? Hidden things belong to the gods. The gods have heard the heart cry of the women of your kingdom. The heart of the gods bleeds because of your suffering. And this is the time to end this cruel tradition which your king has created because he refused to see beyond his desires. Please, how did you know all of this? I know a whole lot. I know an unfold of where you hail from because I see beyond human imaginations. Please. Please, man, you, you, you have to help us. Please. We, we, we have suffered in the hands of this man. We have suffered. We, we need to fight for our freedom and equality. Please, ma, help us. Anger and madness are brothers. Strike with anger and without caution, justice will be denied. Great one, please, what do we do? We need a solution urgently. A river that is filled up in the presence of a man cannot carry him away. You all were witnesses of the ill treatment and therefore it cannot swallow you. You cannot be swallowed by it. Your destinies are in your hands. A wise eh? one. Sorry, you're talking parables. Can you please bring them down? Like, can you talk in plain words? Please, embrace the path of the gods and your destiny is assured. Come with me. Let's talk. See, the day I, Otoku, will prepare 
to attack that your Igwe. You see that your Igwe? The day I will, I will prepare myself to attack him. <laughs> he will need 30, 30 pieces of each of you to stop me that day. I heard that the maidens, that the maidens that your so-called Igwe kept in his prison, that you people cannot hold them. <laughs> they all <whistles> and are <laughs> and, you, and you are petting everywhere. Pigeon everywhere like pigeon. Umu pigeon. Searching for them. Sorry. Sorry to you. <laughs> let, let, let me just ask you. Can you go do? Can you do? Now, they gave you somebody to guide. They gave the person to you. You couldn't hold the person tight. Now that the person is out of your reach, how can you find the person? Where would you find the person? Oh yeah, go. I wish you good luck. Go on, get out of here. I way. wish you good luck. Go. You will see them. Go. Good luck. Good luck to you. Ninja, we do not tell them. Now, go and get them. Your Highness, we lost track of them. How? You couldn't catch ordinary maidens? Forgive me, Your Highness. It seems they've left the shores of this kingdom. Oh, I see. Go and bring all their mothers here immediately. Their mothers must know a lot about their escape. Your Grace. Two amongst the maidens already lost their mothers. I don't care. Go and bring the ones that are alive here immediately. As you wish, Your Grace. The destiny of your kingdom lies in your hands as from today. It was actually the will of the gods that you will be put in the prisons. They also planned for your escape. Adugo, the wise one, you are a great woman with a strong heart. It's not every woman that will have the willpower to summon the rest women and lead for their freedom. As from today, you are going to lead the women of this kingdom and march them into freedom. Okay, wise one, but at this point, I am confused. I don't even know how to lead the women. I don't know where to start from. Most especially now that the king is after us. How do we go about it? The battle belongs to the gods. It's not a battle with merchants and guns. The gods are wise and they walk in mysterious ways. Your destiny is in your hands. Where's my son? It's a girl. A what? She gave birth to a baby girl. Gave birth to a baby what? A baby girl. It's the gods that give children. What gods are you talking about? The gods? No, I needed a son, not a baby girl. If you have done anything otherwise, you won't find it so funny. Out of my sight! Out! Get out of my compound! I said leave now! Leave! Leave! Move it. Iwe, we greet you. Now uh, keep your greetings to yourself. You think you can conspire with your daughters and go against my orders? Mm. And you, Akudu, after killing your husband, you think you can set your daughter against us? Now this time around, you are going to get it very hot. Iwe, we don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, you don't understand? <laughs> now by the time I send for the executioner, you will tell me 
why you sent your daughters to kill my guard and escape the prison? Your Highness, Your Highness, I can swear with any oracle. I don't know anything about the activities and the escape. You lie, woman! If you do not know, then who planned it all? We are innocent, we are innocent. I don't even know when they planned it or when they plan to escape. We don't know anything about it, Iwe. All right, I see. I see. By the time you spend days in that prison without food or water, then you will go and provide your useless daughters. <sighs> okay. I want you to shut up. Guards! Take them away, lock them in the throw you out. Get them. Get up! Get up! Get up. <laughs> go! <laughs> happiness on the faces of the women of your kingdom you are going to fight for your right and earn your freedom mankind must put an end to injustice before injustice puts an end to mankind I am going to fortify you for the impending mission that is set upon you Come with me. Oh, Jaja, like a jay. Oh, you be a balloon where you wear your chap. Oh, Jaja, like a jay. Oh, you be a balloon where you wear your chap. Oh, Jaja, like a jay. Oh, you be a balloon where you wear your chap. Those women are held captive in that prison. I told you about this, didn't I? We wouldn't have watched Father behead those maidens. And now that they are in prison, does it solve anything? Does it? What can we do to help? Honestly, there's nothing we can do. He has doubled the guards watching over that prison. <laughs> Do not look down on the women. Oi, oi, yeah, oi, oi. Come on, get up, get up. My husband, you have been quiet and grieved. Since the day I got back from childbirth, you seem so unhappy and you barely talk to me. Please, my husband, I am deeply concerned. Tell me what troubles your heart. You troubles my heart. Yes, you are the reason why I've been so unhappy. But my husband, what wrong have I committed? What's wrong have I done? You have done a lot by making me to chase my first wife away. You have done a lot by giving me a female child instead of a male child as my firstborn. Depriving me the title of Odogu that is given to men who have a son as a false child. But my husband, I do not make children. The gods gave me what I gave birth to. Why don't you ask your gods to give you a male instead of a female? Of what use? There's a female child to me. Of what use? Please, my husband, 
Do not talk to me like that. Eh? She's our daughter, a human, a gift from the gods. She's not a gift. She's a cause. I forbid you from calling my daughter a cause, Okoro. How dare you call me that? Have you lost your mind? You hate me. You hate me, Okoro. Have you forgotten that you are a woman? You have no right in any way, anywhere, to speak to me anyhow you like in this kingdom. Ever since you married me, you have never laid your hand on me. Why now? I just started. This is just the beginning. You got no idea. Honestly speaking, I feel like I'm running away from this kingdom. Do you think that running away is the best solution to the problem? Besides, where do you run to? Nobody is running to anywhere. This is our kingdom, and we all must join hands together and fix it. Fix it? Did I just hear you say fix it? You're sounding as if you want to join hands with all those rebellious maidens. I wish I could. Hmm. Yes. Come to think of it, they are fighting for our cause as women. Sincerely speaking, I'm beginning to reason the same way. The women of this kingdom need to be liberated from this bondage called tradition. Exactly my point. Enough is enough. We all are women and we cannot continue like this. The injustice against our women are much. Look at other women in other communities. They are as free as the men. Where must our own be as a difference? Well, if I will have to support what you're saying, not while I'm still in this palace. No. I have been listening to your conversations. And I must confess, I am proud of you. The truth must be said. Even though I am royalty, I don't support the tradition. I don't. It's inhuman. It has to stop and the time is now. We won't be fair if we sit back and don't do anything about this. I don't care what the outcome will be. If you have anything to do about this revolution, don't hesitate to do so. The prince and I, we are solidly behind you. Okay? Arrested by the Igwe guards. What? The Igwe and the elders accuse her of aiding Mma and the other maidens escape from the prison. Why? Why would they accuse her firstly? It's time. I think it is it's time for me to come out and fight like a man. No! No, 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 brother. It's it's very dangerous. No, no. Papa is dead. Mama is nowhere to be found. Mama is in the prison. You 
the only one left. Remember, they are still looking for you. The Igwe will not hesitate to kill you if he sets his eyes on you. You have to remain undercover for now until everything turns cold. What? For now, you must not show your face in the kingdom. Why? Why? Why will I be a fugitive in my own land? Why? Huh? What have we done? Huh? What have you done to deserve this? What? My mother needs to be set free from that wicked king. I must do something. Yes. I must do something. But let's watch everything uncover first. I believe nothing will happen to Mama. Why? Why our own is different? Why? What? God, come on, Lord! What am I saying? Why? Somebody will hear you. Why? Somebody will hear you. What is this? I believe the gods are in charge. Everything will be fine. At an unusual spot. Have to leave it for someone sees me. <laughs> So you allowed that bottle of soup to sour under your watch? Uh, hey, my husband, I did not remember to warm it. You know our daughter gives a lot of problems, so my attention was diverted to her. Oh, I see! Your attention was diverted by this little wish. Is it not? Tell me, what am I going to eat? But my husband, before now you always prepare what we eat. You never allowed me to bother to cook. Kitty Palachayaya. What do you mean by that? Tell me! Um, my, my, my husband, I, I mean, now that I am feeding our daughter, you can always prepare yourself something to eat. You must be mad. In a year, will you stand up and get up from there and get me what to eat? Uh, my, my husband... I just stand, I'm talking to you, stand up from there! Go and keep that thing you 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 call a child somewhere and get me so, so, something to eat. Oh, you want to? You want me to carry? Don't 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 Ojenjele They work a better man, they may do it, and they want your mouth. They work a better man, they may do it, and they want your mouth. They work a better man, they may do it, and they want your mouth. Oh, no! You better well!
wise one. You have been made the head of the rescue team. You have all the powers in your name. No mortal shall stand against you. You together with the rest of the women. Restore the honor of the women and end their suffering. You must purge the land of all the evil men that have made life so miserable for you. The men who have made life so miserable for you. And of course, have them have a taste of what you have suffered. But then, you shall not reign forever. You shall sit on the throne as a queen for 12 weeks. After which you shall step down and allow the wish of the gods to be done. You must fight for what you care about. But you must do it in a way that will make others to join. You! 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 You all have the power to navigate through. The power to win. The power to stand against any mortality that will come your way. Adugo, wise one. You must learn to think like a queen. A queen is not afraid to fail because failure is a stepping stone to greatness. You should not contemplate failure because victory is yours already. Hey! Hey, hello! Hey, 
The same breast that you have used to give your husband comfort to make them happy. Same breast that you used to give life to your children. Same breast. It's about to go on a mission. Mission impossible. But by the help of the gods, you shall come back victorious. You must go. Go and restore honor and justice for the women of your kingdom. Honor and justice for the women of your kingdom. Honor and justice for the women of your kingdom. Honor and justice for the women. This is abominable oh, for women to walk into my palace and attack my guards right before my presence. What nonsense. You call us women. I call us warriors. Now you listen to me attentively. I bring you message from the gods, you and your elders. It is high time you stop this maltreatment. This wickedness from you to our women. It has to come to an abrupt end. Set them free. 
else. He who has ears, let them hear. The gods have spoken. It is only a stubborn fly that follows the cops to the grave. What you do not know is bigger than you. Enough of this madness in my palace. And by the way, who gave you the powers to come out to my palace and vomit the trash? Igwe, or whatever you call yourself, this is not a fantasy. Neither is this a joke. This is a message from the gods. Free the women of this land and let peace bring. Or ignore my message and bring war to yourself. No mortal. I repeat, no mortal shall stop this mission. I have spoken. Let's go. Mother, you needed to see how those maidens pushed down the guards and walked straight into the palace. You mean the maidens that ran from the prison? Yes, they are back. So why did they come back? They will be killed. Mother, I don't think so. Those maidens, they can never be killed. You needed to see the way they were looking like warriors. The aura of their power. No one could stand them. So what did they tell your father? Well, they came to warn him to abolish all the traditions against women ah. immediately or face war. This is indeed a good news. Shh! Oh, is it good news? You know your voice? Your father must not hear about this discussion. Keep quiet. Really? Yes. Oh. Your Grace, this is a very big blow on our faces. A great disobedience to this kingdom. A crime punishable by death. Those maidens, they deserve to die for their crime. They have to die. I am thinking, what gave them the audacity is to come here and confront me? M my king, it still baffles me. Eh? It still baffles me. This is a show of shame. How can they, what will people say? That male maidens, Confronted the almighty king. No. They deserve more than death. Your grace. The cast you sent to kill the Medes ended up allying with them. What? Some villagers saw them eating and making merry. No. No. This is not happening. What have they done to them? You have to send the remaining guards. Those guards deserve punishment. Yes, for their stupidity. They need to be punished. Now go with the remaining guards. Bring all of them back here. Yes. Go now. Yes, Your Grace. What? What is happening? Since morning, these useless guards are not yet back. Something has to be done. Hmm. If not, we are doomed. We can't afford to be humiliated, Your Highness. As a matter of fact, Igwe, I can no longer go to my house for fear of these maidens. Same thing here. Your Highness, let it not be what I'm thinking. These maidens might have hypnotized them, just like the previous ones too. But then it must be an act of sorcery. They have magical powers. What is happening? I heard that the maidens that ran away from the prison, all the villagers are healing them. I sent my guards to go and arrest all the maidens, but they ended up feasting with them. I don't know what is happening. Your Highness, that is an act of dark, powerful sorcerer. All the villagers are under their command. And soon, they will rise 
and called after us. We must do something about it. We can't allow it to happen. Awele, do something. Strike them down. Kill all of them. Kill them. Kill them. Yes. They came in full force. The palace guard couldn't even stand them. And they moved from one house to the other to rescue the women. Our men are even afraid of them. As some are leaving the kingdom. How am I even sure? What you say now is the truth. <laughs> I'm saying the truth too. I saw the palace guard keeping guard at Okuri's halls. We are there. So finally, the God has answered our prayers. How do you mean? We by the Igwe and the guards cannot do anything about it. My dear, our freedom is certain. At least very soon, all the sufferings will end. Don't you be late yet. I heard they have some mystic powers. But you know no one can stand our lady chief priest. Soon, he will face them and probably bring their powers down. You have a point. You have a point there. Here with document. I, I know you document your order is taking all your time. You don't understand. I went to call Ichiro Bika, and before I could sneak into his house, those girls had taken him away. Hey, boo. hey, something that is greater than the cricket has entered the cricket hole. Hey, these girls are moving from house to house, dealing and arresting men. Hmm. I saw this coming. Really? I saw it when our chief priest could not withstand them. <laughs> Even the palace guard, they sent to go and arrest them, surrender to them and pledge loyalty. Oh. Who is left? This is terrible. I better wonder where their power is coming from. Let's leave this place before they get hold of us. Let's leave. <laughs> But in the mouth, we've been maltreated for a very long time. So we need to stand up and say, <laughs> oh, We are human. We are not the fear of Adogo, they say, is the beginning of wisdom. Why are they running? Oh, they are running for their dear lives. The evil that men do lives with them, their nemesis is beginning to catch up with them. Why are they running? I thought they were the high and mighty and so for that they were untouchable. Why not come and stand and fight? Why are they running? <laughs> I thought they said they were untouchable. Sister Obi, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I heard Igwe is not standing alone. He's standing alone. His guys and family members have all deserted him and have aligned with Adugo and our friends. He has even sought help from the neighboring kingdom. Do you think that the neighboring villages are not aware of the amount of atrocities being committed towards women in this community? Of course they are. My darling sister, if you ask me, permit me to tell you that. Liberation for women has come. Liberation for you, liberation for me, 
and the entire women in this community. Let's see how he's going to fight those sophisticated ladies alone. Let's see. Because the whole villagers are hailing and suddenly behind the ladies. You are right. You have a point. Liberation has come for the whole women of this country. What are you sent for me? Oh, yes, I sent for you. My son, we cannot allow this shame linger. We must defeat them. They are mere women. We cannot allow them to take over this kingdom, your kingdom, and do whatever they care with it. No. Father, what do you want me to do? I want you to assemble all the village youth. Match to where the maidens are camped. And bring all of them here. But father, I heard they have powers. Even Awoile could not defeat them. He could not stand them. How many mighty men and youth can their petty power stand? Go, they cannot defeat all of you. Bring them dead or alive. Yes, father. Do that for me, son. Restore your title. Go now. Yes, Father. I will do that. Your wish is my command. going to do as he instructed you to? I shall assemble the youths and march them to the palace. And when did you suddenly become his ally? Just watch and see, princess. Good job, son. <laughs> now, go put them in the prison. Nonsense. I told you. Put them in the prison. I am sorry, father. But justice has to prevail. What have you done, son? What? Your reign as king has come to an end. What nonsense. Step down from the truth. Do you know the best penalty of what you just said? One more word from you, and you go see your ancestors in the spirit world. Look here, ladies. Do you understand the consequences of this action you are taking? The consequences is that from today, in fact, from now, you all will see the Look at her. Collect his crown. Collect it. What a front. Let me have them. What? Let me have the particular way you have it. The crown defeats everything collected. My prince. Collect the, the caps of the Jehovah that chief person removed all of them. Hey! 
My prince, Allah who pull us better. Beautiful. So tell me, how do you see our little girl? You're shocked, right? You were not shocked when you were beating up your wives. Now all you have to do for me is, respectively, carry your bloated tongues into the prison. Now. Just before them, we have a kingmaker here, right? Yes, it's it. Huh? You are the kingmaker, mm -hmm. so you know the right thing to do. Oh, yeah. You know what to do, right? Do not waste my time. I do not have such patience. Move it! Fasty! What did you do? Mwa? Begin the crowning. I say, it's it. It's it. Ash! Don't you dare leave those future hands of yours on me. Do act like a wife? Sorry. Put it! Don't eat your meat, please. Where's your hands? Check it. Is that a check? He should. Sorry. Will you put this in place? I am here. I am here. I am here. As the king met I did the uh, kingdom, I cry you, um... You don't fight! When I do go, you are you okay right now? Sorry, sorry. Pay homage! Pay homage! Pass! Pass! Was that how you pay homage? Is that how you pay homage? Is that how you pay homage? You know, my mother, I mean, my parents, always told me about how women were in kingdoms. Especially women in respect when the white people came to work. And the Queen Amina of Zara. You know, so many women have come to rule the kingdom. And they did marvelously well. Yes. I want to be counted as, as one of them. I do not want to do that at all. At least I am happy that we were able to take power from the oppressive men. Oh. And now, there is my turn to And you will do well. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. I think they are really wasting time on the screen. Can you break down and sweep oh, that woman base? But in the mouth, well, I wanna. We've been maltreated for a very long time. Someone need to stand up and say it's enough. Oi, we are human. We are not slaves. We are in trouble. What are you doing, guys? Stand up to sweep me, please, please. I said, I will work this way. I said, sweep. What's up with you? Break down your waist and sweep. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Down. Mr. Man, I am losing it. Bend down and sweep. Bring down your waist. Your waist should go down and sweep. What are you doing? You? Are you sweeping? What are you doing? I'm losing all this one. Make sure they bring down there without any waste. Yeah, what are you doing here? Do you think I give a... I don't give a damn about this man, you king. You know? Once in a while, a king can become a slave. Sweep! Before I sweep your luggage. What's wrong with you? What is it? Go back! Go back! Now I say go down! Make him bend his waist! 
Oh, this man, no. Those useless things. I have talked to them less than they never forget to. Uh -huh. <laughs> eh? A woman who bend down, carry pregnancy for you, you stupid thing. Eh? Hey. They have to come and cook for us. Eh? Hey, so. And I don't want to eat it. They too much pepper, they will eat it. They will eat it. And cook on you. Just to begin with. Just to begin with. Hey, so far. Hey. 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 I am deeply sorry for everything I have done to you. Please forgive me. I also want you to know that it was not my intention. Of course I know it wasn't your intention. It was a chorus, right? Yes. Please, Your Highness. You're my only hope. You have to help me, please. Really? Our husband. Yes. Your husband, not mine. I mean, my husband wants to kill me. He has been maltreating me ever since you left the house. He said he would throw I and my daughter out of the house. I don't have anywhere to go to. Because, you know, I can't be Because, I want to go. It's okay, let's go. You should get let's up. Hey. I've forgiven you a long time ago. Well, it is obvious that your husband haven't noticed that power has changed hands, right? I will so deal with him. Just go, I'll send my guards to him. He will get my message and I promise you he will never lay his hands on you again. Thank you. Thank you, Highness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. subdued and be humbled like this in our kingdom. Then I fetch firewood, fetch water, and do all the house chores. No more maturing of women again. My dear, it still baffles me. But come to think of it, do they have a choice? They can't face those ladies. Even the king and the cabinets, they have succumbed. I wonder where those girls get the power from. Whatever they got it from is not necessary. The men of this kingdom will behave like semi-gods. Maltreating and humiliating women. Now, reverse is the case. Who knows that a day like this would come? It's a clear manifestation that no condition is permanent. <laughs> Thank God for those ladies that save us from the harm of the men. My dear, let's go. What do you want Enough is enough. Hey! Lele, mama, mama, you How are you? 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 <laughs> Let me be sure you 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 evil elders are complete. Ichako, Okori. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where's your teacher? Uh -huh. One, two. You are complete. You are complete. Evil man! Evil! I told you, I told you that your evil, this evil you are perpetrating in this community will have a sparring date. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Nonsense. Uh, uh, every time you want to. In fact, let me go and tell, tell that, that, that new queen. Let me go and tell her. You people will never step your legs out of this place again. Especially that Ichiaku. You look weak. You look weak. They must dig your grave. Hey, hey! Ichiaku! You want to flog me? Get out from there! You want to flog me? Yeah, God! Use that! Go and use that, that, that knife on him! Use it on him! Ichako! Ichako! You want to die there? I have said that you want to die there! 
Onye, onye ishi. The prison is not enough for you. Madman. It's not even enough. Onye ishi. Madman. Now you tell me, if it was your wife that said what you said to her to you, I remember your words vividly, long time ago. You told me that the woman's head will be hanging at the entrance of your wish shrine. Now tell me, what punishment do you think you deserve? Please, Your Highness, don't punish me, please. I'm sorry it will never happen again. Really? Yes. Of course it won't happen again. It will never happen again. Now I want to give you a very clear punishment for laying your hands on your wife. Huh? From today onwards, you wash her clothes, cook and feed her, go to the stream to fetch water, and massage her whenever she needs it. Do you understand me? Failure to do all those things for your wife will amount to your debt, and I will make sure I hang this head of yours at the same entrance of Yogi. God, flog him. Dinus, please. Please, I will do as you said. Miko. Miko. We've been ah, treated for a okay, very no. long time. Someone need to stand up and say Get up. it's enough. Oi, we are Get there. up! We are Dad, if you're not getting up, you're not getting up. Now! Is Frog him if you're not getting up! I, I said stand up! Oh. Very good. I want you to do frog jump out of my palace. I hate repeating myself. You continue like this until you get to your house. You stop halfway and you stop your life. Continue! Hey! Oh, Cora! Huh? Is the food already? Ah! Is it ready? Food is ready. Food is ready. <coughs> and what is this? Uh, it is uh, roasted yam and uh, palm wine. Palm, 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 what? Uh, palm, you know, is this palm, palm, palm wine? Uh, palm oil, roasted yam, palm oil. Oh, so because it's roasted yam and palm oil, you're not wasting all the time preparing it. Uh, eh? It's due to the baby I'm carrying. Stop telling me anything, baby. Stop telling me. You see this baby that you hated so much? Eh? Because she's a baby girl. You must be carrying her. Get used to her. Get used to liking her. Women are important in this world, in this Ew. life. Women are important. Did you hear me? Ew. Ew. <laughs> you see your life? You see your life? If it were to be the time men were ruling this kingdom, and I did such a thing to you, <laughs> Okoro that I know would have me reported to the king because I am starving you, and I will be flogged publicly. Now it's your turn. What should I do to you? Now, what's it, Sokube? Kube? Uh, uh, don't, please don't report me to the queen. Please don't report me. Uh, I, I will try and be fast next time. Eh? <laughs> It's no longer necessary. I have lost appetite for this. This rubbish that you wasted time preparing. Do you know what I want now? Do you know what I want? <laughs> All right. I want you to prepare a goosey soup with hot pounded yam and fresh bush meat. You know, Yankuru? Yankuru? What? 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 Oh. It's like you want me to report you to the king. No, no, no. Why no, I will do as you said. I will do it. Hey, come back, come back. Where are you taking the, 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 the roasted yam to? Uh, to the kitchen. Oh! <laughs> After starving me, eh? You want to go and eat it. Is that what you want to do? No. Eh? It's a no. It's a no. Bring your head down. It's a no. It's a no. Eh? It's a no. 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 It's a
man. Okay. Hmm? Oh, thank you so much. Father, you sent for me. What is this all about? Yes, I sent for you, my son. Son, this is our throne. We can't allow another to sit on it. You are the prince, the heir to the throne of this kingdom. Uh, you, 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 you can't allow this. It's your heritage. Look at me. The chief priest and the entire cabinet member. Look at where we are. The whole king, your father locked up in prison. Is that what you want, my son? Is that the reason you sent for me? I believe you know the implication and the punishment that follows what you just said. You are not going to tell her that I had these words with you. You are not going to tell her that. Father, I need you to understand that since Queen Adugo resumed or assumed the throne, we have lived in peace, harmony. And um, it's more a good leadership than you are, and I believe the gods have chosen her. My prince. Father, I am done having this conversation with you. My prince, are you all right? My prince, I dare you to not ask me. My prince. Your highness, we are doomed. The doomed how? Look at you, Aweli. You cannot even do anything with your powers. You are useless. You are a useless chief priest. Uh, Your Highness, I don't know what they have done. All my powers are gone. Look at you. Both of us are in prison and you're saying, my king, my king, do not allow them to hear you. Lower your voice, my king. Look at you. Your powers are gone. Nkem, Obim, Biko. Don't touch me! Yes, ma'am. But all I'm asking is, is for you to forgive me. Eh? Find a place in your heart and forgive me. I, I wasn't the one all this while. Something came into me, but it all, all happened that way. Eh? I, I just want to say sorry for all the things that I made you pass through. Uh, it's not intentional. Of course, you know. I, I am here to serve you. Eh? I'll make sure that uh, you are happy for the rest of, of your life. Of course! You do not have a choice. You will serve me till you die. Uh, uh, obviously. <laughs> because you know if you do nonsense, I'm not doing you will nonsense. be severely punished. You don't talk when I'm talking. Shut up! Yes, 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 ma'am. But, but you know, I, I said that, that you, you Shut up! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Uh who am I? A mere woman. Right. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's all right. I'll forgive you. Thank you. I don't have a choice, Thank do you. I? Uh, uh? Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Get up. Thank you. Yes, Thank Stand you. Stand there. Don't move. Get a bowl of water and come wash my feet. Immediately. Yes, ma'am. Run! You talk too much. Yes, ma'am. Get walking. Oh. Watch it well! Uh, yes, ma'am. I think, I hope all is well. Awele, I am beginning to regret everything that I did in the past. I am also regretting everything, I think. Did I hear you say that? But you initiated it all. You initiated it. And you legalized it, my king. You did. Stop calling me your king. I wonder if they will ever forgive us and let us out. 
what a cruel and heartless king I have been. Now he's telling on me. Abu, correct yourself, Your Highness. Your Highness, this is exactly two of the books that the white priestess Achala told us. She said that you will sit on that throne for 12 weeks and then you vacate it. Our mission here is accomplished. Do the right thing. Did you hear what I just said? I heard you about death. I have tested the better part of reality. I have tasted power. It is so difficult for me to step down from this truth just like that. Do you think it's that easy? That will be going against the rules of the white priestess Achala. And you know it is dangerous. Do the right thing. You were eating in the pool, and all of a sudden, you screamed and fell. Yes, yes. We were actually not going to go to the house. Things because you are And I have sent for the harbor and you in the bush. How dare you argue with your king? Thank you. 
Get me out of here. Why is it too hard for you to address me with the word you are I don't understand it. Secondly, I am not going to come back from this throne. No, I am the king and that is how it stands. You expect me to step down so that that king will come back and take charge and prosecute us? I am not as stupid as you. Our mission is completed. The men now treat the women with respect. The tradition which was placed against women have been abolished. Everyone is happy. It's time you step down. Like I said, I will never step down. That's final. If you ask me, I think that the king has changed. The rude king and the arrogant king we used to know has changed according to the prince at least. <laughs> you lie. That corny evil one can never change. As a matter of fact, he is a, he's pretending I will never step down for any man to take over the throne. I am not as stupid as all of you. If you will continue to come to my palace to disturb me with this topic, I would have no other option than to abolish you in this kingdom. Let's see. Stop you from coming to my palace. your wish, freed you from the hands of the men, restoring peace and happiness to you and the rest women of this kingdom. Why have you refused to step down from the throne? Great. This is not an act of stubbornness. No. I do not want to go back to suffering and agony. Looking back to what I went through in the hands of those men, I do not want to come back from this throne. I can't watch my people go through such intimidation and rejection. I can't. The war is over, Adugo. You have been liberated. Do the will of the gods. Yes. I understand your fears. There are things that are beyond you. Things you cannot change, no matter how hard you try. Because natural laws must be followed. The men are above all the men. The war is over. Don't dictate for thoughts. Step down from the throne. Step down from the throne. Step down from the throne.
I believe you have learnt your lessons. The truth is I did what I did because I wanted you to feel the hatred, the wickedness you've been passing on to women all this while. How did you feel in there? Did you feel good? I thought as much. I am not here to challenge you anyway. Either am I taking your position from you. As a matter of fact, at this point, I am handing over your kingship to you. years as the king of this kingdom I have always believed uh, that uh, uh, women have no place among men but little did I know that I was totally wrong uh, but I have realized the errors of my behavior. I want to say that I am very, very sorry. I am sorry I apologize. I am sorry uh, for all the troubles uh, uh, that I had caused you in the past. I am sorry. Uh, I, I, we, 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 without women, we are nothing. We are empty. We are useless without women. The world will be senseless and empty. I hereby a decree as the king of this kingdom that from this day, women must be respected. They must be recognized and they must be loved. From now on, they will no longer be regarded as slaves as we had taken them to be. No man shall humiliate or maltreat any woman in this kingdom again. Any man who does that will be punished severely, even by death. I have spoken, and so shall it be. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for correcting this situation, my daughter. Thank you. So, I guess we have to give our Give us some time to go in there and come out in his full regard. So we can proceed to the village square where everyone is waiting for us for some merriment. <laughs> we are waiting for you, Ibu. I 
Go dinner, never 